everyone here is a good news for all of you yes your june examination form is going to release very soon this is the pre notice that they are going to divide your net into three categories and this net score will be valuable for getting admission in phd also not only jrf other than jrf candidate also going to get the opportunity to admit in the phd to get the admission in the phd and that's why they are going to divide this in three categories this is the new notice i am going to tell you the notice those who are new to this channel definitely subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to get all the latest update and notification here you can see according to this meeting in 13 march they are going to divide this score into three categories here what are the categories first category is eligible for admission to the phd and jrf and appoint as assistant professor also they are going to appoint as assistant professor also this is the thing second category you can see eligible for admission in this phd category and after that you are appointed as assistant professor means what those who are getting jrf you got the jrf you qualified as jrf so you are going to get the jrf also means jrf means junior research fellowship you will get the fellowship those who will crack the jrf now those who will not crack the jrf those they will also able to get the admission in phd without jrf and you are eligible for assistant professor also sometimes students are getting confused jrf means only jrf no jrf means jrf and assistant professor both and those who will qualify only for assistant professor they will be also in the second category without jrf but you have that opportunity to get the admission in phd third category is this one eligible for admission in phd program only not for awarded of jra for appointment as assistant professor means here these are the candidate those who will not qualify net also these are the candidate those who will only uh, qualify their entrance they are going to get it this is the third category so you can come to this sheet you can see that category 1 awarded for jrf and appointment appoint as a assistant professor those who will qualified as assistant professor and jrf both they are going to get the jrf also and they are going to uh, get the opportunity for assistant professor also and they will get the admission for phd also here those who will not qualify jrf only assistant professor and they will get a chance of admission in phd also but without jrf that is the thing you are not going to get the jrf here okay this is the things that is you are not going to get the jrf here that is the no here you can see you will get the admission also that is not a problem you will get the admission and next third category is that admission to phd only that those who will crack the exam that is their entrance exam specific entrance exam if you crack that then you are going to get the admission only but you are not eligible for assistant professor or you are not going to get the jrf also now how they are going to divide for the student who qualify the category 2 means if you qualify the category 2 if you crack the net net score you have that net score and you are qualified as assistant professor and you are eligible for phd also 70% of the weightage whatever entrance they are going to conduct for the test score 70% weightage will be given for the test score and 30% will be for the interview so if you crack the net after that i think you no need to do go for your um, admission test because it was a hectic thing i have to crack net also i have to crack admission test also then only i will get the phd so then what is the value of net this was the question going on everywhere so now you will get the 70% weightage from the net score and 30% weightage for the interview score so definitely day by day your no net qualification is going to increase means if you are get able to qualify net then it will be good for you you are getting weightage also in phd admission 
so this phd admission will be based on the merit of the net marks and the marks obtained in the interview so whatever marks so net marks is very important don't think that i will just qualify i will just crack the cut off rather than that try to improve your score improving score is important and the marks obtained for the net category for that 2 and 3 will be valid for the period of 1 year of the admission for the phd okay so it will be for only one year for only one year you are valid so i think this third category is also they are going to conduct it only for phd means some third category will be also there those who will only get the chance for phd there will be three category one category is jrf and assistant professor another category is assistant professor and phd both and another category is admission to the phd only not the assistant professor so they are going to release this three categories for this exam upcoming exam you are going to get this three categories so must prepare yourself try to get a good score your score will help you to get the admission in phd also so be prepare yourself and be ready for the form form is very soon coming soon okay so please like this video like share subscribe to the channel and stay tuned with this channel thank you bye bye